Vygotsky Social Development Theory. The summary is, social development theory argues that interaction precedes development. Consciousness and cognition are the end product of socialization and social behavior. Lev Vygotsky was a Russian psychologist at the time of the Russian Revolution. Vygotsky's work was largely unknown to the West until it was published in 1962. Vygotsky's theory is one of the foundations of constructivism, and it asserts three major themes. Social interaction, more knowledgeable other, or the MKO, and the zone of proximal development, or the ZPD. Social interaction plays a fundamental role in the process of cognitive development. In contrast to Jean Piaget, Vygotsky felt social learning precedes development. He states, every function in the child's cultural development appears twice, first on the social level and later on the individual level, first between people and then inside the child. The more knowledgeable other, or the MKO, refers to anyone who has a better understanding or a higher ability level than the learner with respect to a particular task, process, or concept. The MKO is normally thought of as being a teacher, coach, or older adult, but the MKO could also be peers, a younger person, or even computers. The zone of proximal development, or the ZPD, is the distance between a student's ability to perform a task under adult guidance and or peer collaboration and the student's ability solving the problem independently. According to Vygotsky, learning occurred in this zone. Vygotsky focused on the connections between people and the social cultural context in which they act and interact in shared experiences. According to Vygotsky, humans use tools that develop from a culture such as speech and writing to mediate their social environments. Initially, children develop these tools to serve solely as social functions, ways to communicate needs. Vygotsky believed that the internalization of these tools led to higher thinking skills.